I mentioned yesterday um, that I'm not entirely convinced that love is simply um, a piece of cheese for us, the mice, to chase in order to get us to breed, because that would imply that um, Dawkins' selfish gene um, actually has some sort of intent. Um, I think that the selfish gene is kind of a misnomer in the same way as I think that natural selection is kind of a misnomer, because each one assumes that there's some sort of intent behind it all. Dawkins seems to assume that um, <clears throat> the selfish gene has some sort of will, which is not genetically identifiable in it, that seeks to procreate and endure. There's no evidence of this whatsoever. He's just deduced this based on observing the gene's behavior or what he perceives to be the gene's behavior. Um, I'm not convinced by that. I'm not saying that it's that he's wrong, but I, what I'm saying is I'm not convinced. Um, same thing as you know the idea that um, we love in order to allow us to survive, in order to allow us to procreate, etc. Um, love in a conjugal or sexual sense is meant uh, to get us to produce more humans. What? <laughs> We're meant to do something? Okay, by what? What's up there? What's the puppeteer? What's up there manipulating us in this way? Not only that, um, that kind of implies that there is an us to be manipulated, right? If something is being manipulated, then there's something manipulating it. And there is also something being manipulated. And that means that us becomes something of a ghost in the machine, I guess. Um, <clears throat> and which, again, that may be Schopenhauer or Nietzsche's will. I tend to subscribe to the idea of the will, because it does kind of solve these problems. Um, either that or there's a god up there, and, well, <laughs> uh, we all know the problems behind that one. Um, although one could say that they are one and the same, the will and God. Uh, you're just using different terminology to describe the same thing. I don't know what people mean when they say God, so I'm not even going to get into that. But what I would advise people who sort of say that evolution is just um, a, me a motivation mechanism or uh, everything that we do is just a mechanism that has been placed there to get us to do something should actually examine that and sort of, or at least examine the way you talk about it, because I think that the way that it gets discussed can lead to some pretty rutted and lazy thinking, because you start to believe that the will to life or the will to survive or the will to anything is an end in itself, which is okay, as long as you're actually going to say, this is what I mean by it. But it always seems to get regressed off to this idea of survival as an end in itself, but we don't have any evidence at all, other than our own observations, that survival is an end in itself. Things fear death. Things seek to survive. Things seek to um, pass on their DNA. Apparently, they're aware that they're doing this, or they're not aware of it, but you know, their actions are not consciously motivated. They're motivated by something that they don't understand, etc. Well, okay, that's nice. That's a great explanation for things, but there's no evidence for it. Show me the part in a gene that wants, actually, to do what it does. There's no evidence for that at all. Uh, we can see what a gene does. We can figure out its coding and all that kind of thing. But we can't see, that we, we can't find an aspect of that gene that makes it selfish or that makes it actually want to survive. Um, we have put that idea on that gene. We have, ex we have um, anthropomorphized this gene. Um, we've anthropomorphized in a sense, evolution and the whole thing. its it, These things become processes that we believe phenomenally exist simply be, by ease of use. I mentioned to Hover Bobberer yesterday that to say that a gene intends for something to happen is the same thing as saying that the moon intends to cause tides on Earth. There's no evidence that a gene is doing anything other than acting like an automaton. None! <laughs> uh, 
Um, why do we think that it has some telos? Why do we believe that it's going somewhere? This makes no sense to me at all. And this is the will to comfort because, you know, the whole thing, all this desire that we have out there is allegedly some sort of mechanism that actually has an intent behind it. Sorry. That is a, an extraordinary claim, and not to poke somebody else's ideas, but extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Thank you very much.